Wednesday, everybody. So President Biden is in deep trouble. The White House reports he's testing negative for COVID, which proves even the virus wants someone else. <laughs> and according to a new CNN poll, over three quarters of respondents don't want him to run for president. They want him to run for the hills. The poll comes as his approval ratings plunge like Nancy Pelosi's neckline. <laughs> and most Americans are as disgusted with the economy as they are with Nancy Pelosi's neckline. <laughs> <laughs> of course, there is no recession, they say, as they try to redefine the term recession the way they redefined riots and women and crime and basic biology. We'd say that lie takes some balls, but we don't want to misgender it. <laughs> it's getting so bad, Mayor Pete is polling better than Joe, and Pete's actually done less work on the job than Kamala has on closing the border. Pete's now in his 10th month of parental leave and will be ready to work full-time once he stops lactating. <laughs> but I get it, Joe does not look good, literally and figuratively. The only thing holding him together is the hair plugs. <laughs> and you can see why. Here's a 20-second clip of Biden coming from the White House. Look how much it was edited. This law does so much more. It saves lives, including yours. It'll help you do your job, but it's just a start. Last week, I rolled out my Safer America plan with the goal of doing three key things. First, take additional common sense steps to reduce gun crimes and violence. They spent more time editing that 20-second clip than Coppola did, The Godfather, both one and two. <laughs> but at least when Dr. Frankenstein pieced together his monster, he put in a brain. <laughs> I mean, if you have to do that much surgery for 20 seconds of tape, that's like starting with a six-ton piece of marble and ending up with a bowling trophy. <laughs> it's the creepiest presidential clip since the, the Zabruder film. <laughs> oh, did that upset you? It's getting dark. Oh, I'm sorry. Dark humor today. <laughs> and take a look at this comparison appearing on Twitter, where I get all my research. Hey, it works for the Washington Post. It shows two different Bidens, apparently 24 hours apart. Folks, as we fight inflation, you can't be pro-insurrection and pro-cop. Bringing down gas prices is a big part of the job. You can't be pro-insurrection and pro-democracy. You can't be pro-insurrection and pro-American. And here's the good news. Gas prices have dropped every day this summer. That's more than 40 days in a row. Donald Trump lacked the courage to act. We now have 40,000 gas stations in the United States where the price of gas is $3.99 or less. The brave women and men in blue all across this nation should never forget that. What the hell is going on? <laughs> I mean, that's the same guy. I mean, yet they're as different as night in a toilet seat. <laughs> One minute he's fine, the next he has the delivery you'd expect from a POW video. They should have him hold up a copy of USA Today so we have proof of life. <laughs> What's going on, Joe? Uh, no, no. I'm not working hard. I'm hardly working. Don't you? I, I'm not just a, a professor, professor of political. A philosophy at uh, Penn. Let me tell you something. That's all a bunch of poppy seed bagels. <laughs> Listen to my wife, all right? She's a doctor. I said it to my cream of wheat this morning. Highbrow, lowbrow, intermediate, make believe we're all collegiate soon to do the raccoon. Come on, man. Oh. Oh. No wonder, no wonder the Dems want to ditch Joe faster than a masseuse with rough hands and monkeypox. <laughs> the guy's deteriorating faster than Joy Behar's mood when she runs out of pie. Maybe it's COVID that's messing Joe up, but it's not like we were blessed with a fit specimen. The guy started out bad, now he's worse. I mean, even his body double looks exhausted. <laughs> I hope for the sake of America and the planet, he's okay, because if he's not, this is what we got. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. <laughs> Yet it seems the press still seems more consumed by the past 
meaning Donald Trump. And I get it. It's the old, hey, don't look there, look over here trick. But at least Trump can complete sentences, has ideas about crime and homelessness, and isn't kept chained to a radiator somewhere in the West Wing <laughs> being force-fed Adderall in his oatmeal. <laughs> you know, I wonder, what would Trump do if he were a basketball coach of a woman's team? Would he ever lose? If I were a basketball coach of a woman's team, I would never ever lose. I'd be the greatest coach of all time. I'm not a fan of LeBron James at all, but I would go to him. LeBron, uh, did you ever think of becoming a woman? Did you ever? Because I'd like to have you on my team. You look at the tents and the homeless, and you say, what's happening to this great bastion? Create thousands and thousands of high-quality tents, which can be done in one day, one day. And you have to move people out. Yes. The ones that don't have a drug problem are those that institute a very quick trial death penalty sentence for drug dealers. Uh, you know, it's good to see he hasn't changed. <laughs> <laughs> he still has the subtlety and restraint you'd expect from a man with his name on buildings, golf courses, and stakes. You know, any steak with the name Biden on it would come pureed in a squeeze tube. <laughs> but the Dems need help, right? Maybe they're not looking hard enough. But, you know, I think I can help. I think I have their candidate. This guy, John Hinckley. <laughs> yeah, he's out of jail now. And here's what he just tweeted. I believe in peace, love, equity, LGBTQ rights, abortion rights, animal rights, race mixing, assault weapon ban, sharing the wealth, Green New Deal, Black Lives Matter, prison reform, and good rock and roll. John. Join the John Hinckley community. Yeah, it's located at the corner of <laughs> Crazy Boulevard <laughs> and A-Hole Avenue. But damn, he's nuttier now than when he shot Reagan. Meaning he sounds like the perfect woke Democrat. Are you sure that isn't AOC in a fat man suit? <laughs> he ticked every box. Although, oddly, he did forget handguns. But I guess they must have had <laughs> CNN on the prison TV because he sounds no different than Don Lemon. And that is CNN's rating strategy. Show it where you can't change the channel. Talk about cruel and unusual punishment. That's like telling a guy on death row to share his last meal with Brian Stelter. <laughs> but this loser illustrates a key point these days. You want the press and the libs to like you? Just tow the woke line. And anyone can do it. Even a failed assassin with an acoustic guitar and a face like a lumpy potato. Hinckley's living his best life. But I don't want to be around when he hears the news that Jodie Foster's gay. <laughs> <laughs> So there you go, Democrats. You wanted a big name, you got one. A celeb who appeals to all your little identity cults. And he can sing. There's so much anger in the world. I want to see some love. Everybody seems to be such a world. I want to see some love. Yeah. He's no Cat Stevens. <laughs> Closer to cat food. But he sure beats this. <laughs> okay. Ow, 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 you know? Dream big, fight hard, and let's win! And let's not forget this guy. <laughs> That's a reference. So what do you say, Democrats? Hinkley 2024? He can't be that much worse than what you got. His campaign slogan could be, give me a shot. <laughs> I just might blow you away. <laughs> Let's welcome tonight. His last job was as a mannequin for J. Crew, host of the Guy Benson Show, Guy Benson. <laughs> he signed with the NFL, played Superman on TV, and dated Brooke Shields. But other than that, he's done nothing impressive. <laughs> Actor and producer Dean Kane. <laughs> She's like the girl next door if you live next to a women's prison. Box News contributor, Cat Tube. 
zones. Finally, his footprint has three time zones. My massive sidekick in the NWA World Television Champion, Tyrus. <laughs> That was a very uh, dark so monologue. Wait, wait, just... it's, it's Guy Town again? And I know you like how much you love all the Guy Town videos. It is so... Guy Town. Yeah, so I wrote one. You wrote a Guy yeah. Town? Yeah. All right, let's see it. Guy Town, suppressing all your feelings because you're scared to cry. And your dad was mean, talking to your dog about your problems because he won't judge you. We live in a world where men can't fully express themselves. Guy Town! Oh, oh, my I don't like that one. That was, I felt like I was attacked. But it's true, we have guys here tonight. So my, one of my favorite guys, Dean Kane. Um, so how you doing? I'm doing great. First of all, yeah. congratulations to you oh. for crushing Late Night. Oh, thank that you. is you. <laughs> I live in that yep. bastion of wokeness called Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And to see you on top, uh, really, really. And they don't talk about this show. Never. They can't talk about it nope. because it's too humiliating. You know? I'll talk about it. Yes, thank you, because you're Superman. <laughs> yes, no, not anymore. So what, how do you feel about Joe? What's, here's a question, what's in the worst condition, Joe or his party? It's kind of tough. It's, I would say Joe, really, yeah. I'm gonna have to go with that. I mean, looking at that video, that video which was edited, I think you were counting four or five times, yeah. it was every sentence. Yes. That was scary, scary stuff. And what I've noticed on Twitter is they've made it very clear during that one very, very, Froggy voiced mm -hmm. uh, bit. He uh, he never blinks. Yeah, he never blinks. It is a hostage video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. So that that is it's it's scary to me. I wish it weren't the case. It's actually sad for our country that that's the guy leading it. But uh, yeah, cause especially when me. you have you know who's in the dugout on deck. Oof. Little baseball phrase there. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Very little. That's that's that that and that laugh. I just can't. Mm -hmm. It does things to the back of my neck. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> So, Guy, uh, what is your prediction for 2024? And welcome to the show, by the way. I'm glad you shaved your beard. You. <laughs> you asked me to, so <laughs> yes. it's your show, so it's oh, fine. It was, it was leaving a rash, so. <laughs> by the way, I bet you the White House. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> On your... <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I... Boy, yeah. Sorry. This, this is long established. <laughs> This is long established, not even news anymore. Uh, I'm waiting for the White House to come out and tell us that that was all shot in one take. Yes. Right, because they'd be like, well, we're just redefining one take. Mm -hmm. And so that's what uh, it was, right? That's what they would do. Can I co like comment briefly on John Hinckley? Yes. I'm still hung up on that part of the monologue. Is that crazy? Yeah. So uh, this is maybe a, a bit of a controversial opinion, but I believe that if you attempt to assassinate a president of the United States, I'm okay with you being canceled forever. Right. Uh -huh. Like, I'm not in favor of cancel culture, but for that type of person, yes. And just to feel like you can get back in the good graces of polite society by just vomiting out every woke platitude, it's probably not a dumb move on his part. It'll probably work to some extent, but I'm in favor in this one instance of cancel culture. It's a high bar, but he met it. Do you know that he had a concert in Brooklyn? And so some, he actually was able to get a gig. It sold out. Yeah, it sold out. But then, I, then after outcry, they canceled it. So it was canceled. Hey, there you go. I support that one cancellation. <laughs> there you go. Fine. There you go. You're a little bit woke. On this no, one, but yeah. you're right. You're right. He knew what to do. It was totally calculated, Tyrus, right? The, like, he, he had everything in there. He missed that, the Ukraine flag. You know, yes, I was... He, had, he, had, he missed had the Ukraine flag. Well, but I was, I was taken aback and kind of shocked. I didn't know that race mixing was a bad thing all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was on the, the docket somewhere. I know. The people like, were up in arms about all this race mixing going on. Like, <laughs> Who even uses that phrase? No I, I didn't know, but yeah. I was like, wait a minute. He was what? in prison for decades. He doesn't yeah. know. Yeah, it's still when he went in, it was like, no race mixing. Mixing and he yeah. came out. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the no race mixing? So that would be great. A great to him coming out and wanting things that were to be legal that are legal. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I mean, what? And here's the deal. This is hey, this is where progressive woke bites you on the ass a little bit. I'm just curious of the editor, what group they were representing the first of and the shoulders of representative, how we're gonna edit films. Mm -hmm. Because I'm pretty sure my eight-year-old 
drunk could edit yeah. better <laughs> yeah. than that. That was either intentional, like we gotta get rid of this guy, right? because they weren't even the same shots. No, no, no. It was close up, back away, <laughs> close up. They're literally telling you, this guy can't complete a sentence. <laughs> it was like uh, their hostage note yeah. to the rest of us, like, he he can't even get through a sentence. Yeah, it was it was very. Yeah, that that editor, someone needs to be watching out for them. <laughs> did you guys? Unless they were race mixers. Did your heart? <laughs> did your heart beat a little bit when you were listening to Trump? Like, oh my God, that I'm saying, I missed that, and yes, I missed the I unique miss ideas. I just started laughing about LeBron James. <laughs> it, it was killing me. Just the fact that they're having a president who can have a complete sentence and shift a train of thought is yeah. kind of. It's kind of cool. Yeah. And, and, on know, purpose. Like, yeah. yeah. Shift the chain of thought on purpose. Yeah. And when he says, I don't know, we know he's being sarcastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you, you know, like, when he says it, he's like, he doesn't know. What, Kat, what do you think about uh, Hinkley 2024? Uh, would you support? Well, I think he actually might have a shot. Oh. Like, not in a pun way. I would never do that. That's all you. <laughs> um, because when I saw the rundown for this today, I, I like, I Googled John Hinkley. I was like... I was like, there's no way that I, I thought I was having a stroke because I thought I was certain I knew who this was. Yeah. But I was like, it couldn't be that same guy if this is what's happening. Yeah. But it was. Mm -hmm. So maybe that could happen on a larger scale where people would be like, oh, it couldn't possibly be that John Hinckley and they just vote for him. Yes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I, I might be the only one that is suggesting this as, as an idea, but it was based on that tweet that just completely, like, it was so brazenly virtue signaling, yeah. you know? But he, has, he, he has no shot in the Democratic primary, though, because he's apparently a straight white dude with a guitar. Yes. <laughs> like, it's the whitest name ever. But if no he comes chance. out as non-binary. Yes. Oh, that's if could he be runs move. with the juice. <laughs> that could be a Runs with the juice. Oh, wait, that's race mixing. Never yeah. mind. <laughs> Nicely done. Well, hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.